What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. This is a follow along loaded hip mobility routine. Loaded mobility is my favorite for two reasons. Number one is it's usable. So these gains that we're making in mobility and range of motion are transferable into movement. Number two is because if you're on the stiff side of the spectrum, like I am, then this is really gonna be the fastest way to break into your joints and to improve range of motion. So just like strength training, it takes your body a while to adapt to things. So start slow, start gradual, start moderate, and then over time, build up to pushing your ranges of motion more and more. If you've been digging these follow along routines, go ahead and hit the like button right now. I'll give you a second. Cool, thank you. Now let's hop into this routine. So I'm pretty much only going to produce content now that supports you guys in freeing up your body, getting out of the fitness mind frame, getting out of the stiffness of the gym and uh, exploring new ways to think about strength and mobility and movement and your body in general. So uh, these are all things that I kind of went through in the last three years and I just want to make stuff that you know, the Josh two years ago would have loved to consume. So I'm just kind of messing around with the handstand here. Guys, this stretching routine is, is pretty potent. So take it slow, don't rush into anything. And as you progress, you can start to push um, the intensity more and more. First up, we're gonna warm up the hips by doing some squat prayers. So sit down into a squat position. You're gonna put your elbows on the inside of the knees and you're gonna clasp your hands together right under the chin. Then bring the hands down and push the elbows out against the knees. You don't have to do this too intense. This is just a warm up. Uh, we're just getting the hips moving, opening them up, getting some blood flow going before we hop into our training. Do 10 reps of these and on the last rep, if it feels good for you, go ahead and hold in the knees out position for five to 10 seconds. Now, if you wanna do another round of that or anything else that's gonna help get your hips warmed up, then do so, but we do wanna be pretty warmed up as we hop into this workout here. And the first thing we're gonna do is a Cossack squat. So we're not only using this squat for a movement, but also for a test position. So really try to gauge here, how deep are you able to sit side to side? How fluid does the movement feel? And we're gonna be coming back to these over the course of the next 15 minutes or so. Now, if the Cossack squat is a bit out of your capabilities, you can always elevate your heel. You can put your hands on the ground and feel that position. And if that's too tough, you can also just use a normal squat position when I show the Cossack squat. Now we hop into our first loaded mobility drill. This is an elevated pigeon hinge. So you're gonna need something to elevate your leg on. You're gonna get the knee at about 90 degrees, and then you're simply gonna hinge your torso forward. Um, you're gonna bring your chin or your chest down towards your heel and the foot, right? That's the angle that we wanna work with. Now, the loaded part is that we are putting a lot of our weight into that hip that's elevated that's being stretched here okay so try to keep your back as straight as you can you're going to want to arch that back and not let it round and we're just getting trying to get deeper and deeper into our hinges here and the other thing that we're doing is we're starting to put more and more weight into that leg that's up so i'm supporting myself with my hands but as we progress here we're going to take more and more weight out of our hands and put more into the hip so I'm doing 10 reps with a 10 second hold on the last rep.
So take a few seconds here, take a minute. That can be quite intense on the hips and there's no reason to rush into this next one. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it. But for those of you who aren't, we're gonna hop into the kneeling hamstring hinge. So one knee goes down, one leg stays straight. You're gonna bring your hand, one hand on the knee, one hand on the foot. If you're that flexible, if not, you can put both hands on the knee. And now we're going to do hinges from this position. So I'm keeping my back as straight as I can, really arching the back here is, is very important. I'm also trying to anteriorly tilt my pelvis and I'm just bringing my knee down towards my chest without rounding. So we're gonna do uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 hinges here. Um, and then on the last rep, we're going to hold and in this hold, you're gonna go ahead and forget about the arching of the back. You're gonna round the spine and you're gonna try to bring your head down as close to your leg as you can or to the leg. And we're just really trying to smash that thigh into the torso here, okay? So hold that for about 10 seconds and we'll go ahead and switch legs. How are your hips feeling? Probably pretty blasted and that is wonderful. But like I said, don't push it too hard early on, right? We're gonna do more rounds of this so you can start to um, get more intense in those later rounds. And we're gonna hop back into the Cossack squat. So remember I said this is a kind of a test position. So we're hopping back in side to side and just examine and be aware of like how your hips are feeling. Um, for me, you can visually see I'm getting a, a bit deeper here. It's probably due to me being a little bit more warmed up, but also because we are uh, making some improvements in range of motion, usable range of motion in this Cossack squat here, right? So if it feels good for you on the last rep um, on both sides, you can also hold that in the deep position, uh, kind of try to relax into it as much as you can. Um, and after this, we're gonna hop into another round. Okay, round two, here we go. Once again, you don't need to rush this. Pausing the video is fine if you need to take a little bit longer of a break. We're hopping back into our um, loaded pigeon hinges here. So get that knee, get it to 90 degrees. Um, hands on the knee and the heel. And as you can see now, I'm starting to take weight out of my hands. You can see I'm just using my fingertips and I barely have any weight in my hands and my shoulders here now. I'm just using the fingertips to kind of guide me down. But all of the, the weight is being driven into the hip that's being stretched right now, my left hip. And that is essentially our goal is we want to get this hip into a stretched uh, position where we're pushing the range of motion and then we want to use it and, and use it in the very you know strength component. So once again, we're gonna do 10 hinges. We're gonna hold on the last one. We're keeping the back and spine as straight and extended as we can and we'll switch to the other leg.
So as you can see here, I'm starting to just completely take my hands away and that's what I'll be showing you guys on the third round is uh, just not using any support from the hands and making that hip take all of the weight here. And that's gonna be the most challenging variation and it's also probably going to um, result in the uh, most change and in, in best results for the hips. But you definitely have to build up to that. Don't just jump into that right off the bat. So now we're going back to the kneeling hamstring hinge. Uh, so we get down one knee, one leg straight and support with the hands on the leg. And then we start our hinges here, right? Really just cueing that back to be in as much extension as we can, uh, can help to kind of keep your head up. And you know, it's never gonna be perfect, right? As you can see, my back rounds a little bit. I don't have perfect hamstring mobility. Um, that's why we're doing this, because we're trying to achieve better hamstring mobility, right? So. Um, always just cueing for that, but not being too strict about it. And once again, we hold on the last rep, put that head down, just try to get as much of that torso down to the thigh as you can. Come on up out of that. Let's switch to the other side. You can see I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling it right here. And we hit this other side. Okay, shake that off. Take some time. Recover a little bit. And when you're ready, we're gonna hop into back into our caustic squat. So, how's this caustic squat feeling for you? Are things feeling good? Are you sitting a little bit deeper to the side? Is that range of motion and movement a little bit more fluid? I'm gonna guess that it is because we are opening up some good ranges of motion in the hips and the hamstrings here. Um, for me, my right side's a bit more limited in this, in this movement, so I'm always just trying to be very aware of that, seeing how I can get my right side to feel uh, exactly like my left side does, right? Nice and, nice and fluid, and it's getting there. It's getting there, and you just have to keep working. Uh, so what else while we're finished up these caustic squats? A lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video on nutrition, full day of eating type video. I definitely plan to do that in the future. I'm just kind of taking my time on that. I'm seeing how I want to present that content. Um, oh, right here, I was I was only gonna do two rounds, but I was like, oh, should we do a third? I wanted to check the cameras, make sure they're still rolling, thumbs up. They are, let's dive into a third round because honestly, if you want to get some good results here, I'd suggest doing three to five rounds of this. I'm going to leave you guys from here. If you're still following along, please keep following along. I'll put some nice music going uh, in the background here. Uh, and thank you to all you guys that are watching the videos and especially who are following along. I think it's a really cool way for me to produce content and for you guys to uh, actually get some, some good results without a lot of the guest game in there. I'm kind of just making stuff that I wish I had three years ago as I was kind of journeying into new different types of movement and trying to free up my body more and more. Um, so if you guys are here with me, leave a comment below. Let me know that you're following along. Uh, I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe to Strength Side. As always, as I do this little shakeout dance, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,